has no more connections in China. He hasn't been to China in 20 years. His family's here. His business is here since 1989. This man is not going anywhere. You saw in court, he can barely walk. He walks slowly because of the polio. He's not going anywhere. He is staying here where his family is. We're going to fight these charges. Talk about the conditions inside the home. The conditions. Yeah. Um, this is a no by home. They portrayed it to be a flop house. We disagree with it. This is a house of nobody. They had the option of living in the basement. They had an option of, of staying with them. Um, and this was a nice home, a very, very nice home. It made it appear that all of these smoke alarms were dismantled. That's not true. That wasn't the case. There were smoke alarms. And as I said, the smoke alarms were going off as the firefighters came to the house. So it was audible. They could hear it until they shut off these the power. five individuals out to the, um, the Novi uh, Cheesecake Factory. And for dinner. This is how he treated them. He made them breakfast. They ate together. This was like a family situation. Now, I know people don't want to believe that. They want to say, well, they're living in the basement. Look at that was an option for them to have a place to stay. What they would say is, would you put your family in a basement with no fire extinguisher, no emergency exit, and no functioning smoke alarm in the basement that would give them early warning? Well, that's to be disputed as to whether or not it was functioning smoke alarm. You heard the arguments in court. They said at the base of the stairs, coming downstairs, there was a smoke alarm. Disabled? No, they said there was a smoke alarm. There was a disabled one on the main floor or upstairs, and then there were four other smoke alarms. Okay. So there's some, but there's some that controversy. Cons would, would, I mean, people at home are going to say, okay, Mr. Kassar, would you put your family in a basement, five to two bedrooms on futons, with no fire extinguisher and no emergency exit. If my basement was furnished, I would have no problem. He's here legally, all of his family are here legally. Why would he put himself in that situation? You know what, I think that there's a lot of undocumented workers that are working throughout Michigan. We have thousands of undocumented workers. And whether we want to accept it as a public or not, you know, President Obama's right. We have to do something with immigration reform. We have to, because we can't criminalize everybody that's working. And Michigan is filled with undocumented workers. If you haven't seen it, I certainly have. Restaurants, you can tell when people can't even speak the language. You can tell and you wonder, how are they here? So it's an issue, it's a bigger issue than just Mr. Tam's case.